When you're a lonely Indian man, sometimes you yearn for your mother's home-cooked meals. But you actually haven't learned how to cook at all, so you have to turn to the world of the microwave. And luckily, Tasty Bite exists. Now, Tasty Bite was created by a man who looks like an engineer, and I say that because he is an old, balding Indian man. Now, of course, an old, balding Indian man would name something Tasty Bite, and its whole purpose was to provide quality Indian cuisine to the public. Now, you can find Tasty Bite in any Indian store, but I like to get it at Costco, where you can get a box of Tasty Bites, and it averages out to being about a dollar each. Now, today I'll be eating the Tasty Bite Indian Madras Lentils, or if you're not a fan of British imperialism, the Chennai lentils. Now it's well after 11 p.m. I'm sure my mother is asleep right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and check out and see if this tastes as good as her cooking, as tonight I'll be showing you how to microwave a Tasty Bite Indian Madras lentils. Open the bag a few inches. Speaking of a few inches, there was a report out a few years ago that the average condom was too large for Indian men's penises. How embarrassing. I can't say that applies to me. I don't use condoms. Heat the bag for one minute. It seems a major concern that edible food could be provided to you at the same length of time as a TV theme song, but let's see. Allow the tasty bite to cool, and then pour the bag into a bowl. Well. Let's go ahead and try the lentils now. Hmm. Takes me back to Madras. I've never actually been to Madras. My family is from Bombay. Or if you don't care for British imperialism, Mumbai. Well, the real question here is, is the Tasty Bite actually tasty? And for a microwavable food that takes the same amount of time as my first orgasm did, I'd say so. You know, you can go ahead and get a frozen pizza or a lean cuisine, and it won't give you the same fraudulent feeling of international cuisine and nutrition that the Tasty Bite does. So I say, hey, go for it. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and finish off my lentils. I understand why Gandhi fasted.